You know, inside that bag is my nightmare. Can you believe it? An ordinary backpack can hold a child's nightmare. What is my nightmare? A test paper. Sounds scary, right? When you were my age, do you remember spending five, six hours practicing over and over again? <sighs> Memorizing, writing, reading, all of that hard work just to walk into that classroom, take the test, just to realize you didn't get a good grade. Remember that feeling? That horrible feeling? Sometimes you felt like a failure, didn't you? This feeling is something I'm very familiar with. And this feeling not only affected my report card, but it also affected my social life and my performance in class. Can you believe it that all I did in class was I sat there, scared, as tears formed in my eyes, as I trembled, as I tried to catch my breath, impatiently waiting for the school bell to ring, just so I can rush into the girls' restroom to go throw up. I vomited myself. I was frequently sent to the nurse's office because I would go sick. The nurse would call my mom. Hello, is this Yala Shamim's mother? Your daughter's sick. Please come pick her up. That phone call is something my mom is very familiar with. And the days that I wouldn't come home sick or scared, I would come home in tears. Tears. And these type of things are happening to kids all around the world. These kids can be your sisters, your brothers, your nephews, your cousins, and even your own child. Can you imagine that? Your kids, they're coming home crying. Do you think I deserve things? Do you think they deserve the pressure? We, do you think we deserve to come home and cry? Do you think it's normal, okay for us to think I'm a failure, talentless at such a young age? That's why I'm asking for now, please, let's remove the test paper. Now, I'm very well aware that in the Maldives for Key Stage 1 and 2, we no longer have test papers. We no longer grade them with 97, 34, A's, C's. But we still have fully achieve, mostly achieve, achieving in many other competitions. Yeah, it's all different names. But it's still the same feeling, the same anxious feeling same tears dripping down my eyes, the same tears dripping down your kid's eyes. But I believe we can change that. Remove the test paper, remove the pressure. With no pressure, I will walk into that classroom. Your kids will walk into that classroom with a smile on their face, ready to learn. Learn not because they have a test to study for, but because they like it, they love it. They can feel their hard work shining. They know that their talents, they know their passions. They know they love it. They know the knowledge behind it. That is the world where I want to live in. That is the type of classroom where I want to walk in where kids learn because they like it, where I don't have to worry about my marks, where I only have to walk hard, where I can be confident in myself, where your kids can be confident in themselves. You know, a couple of years back, I took a test paper. In one of the questions, I remember it said, can you please write about car pollution? Now my 
mind you, I come from a small island in the middle of the Indian Ocean where we don't even have one car. Can you believe that? Not a single car. My whole entire class consists of just 16 students. One six. Yeah, I had no idea how to write about this. To be honest, I can't imagine the big factories they teach us at school, the paragraphs they read about it. But you know what I can imagine? Paper. Why? It's in my school books. Instead of saying car pollution, we could say reuse your old book books. Use the same books you used previous year. If there's leftover paper, use it. There's no need to buy new school shoes, new school backpack every year. You can reuse the old ones. See, we brought in something that's relatable for them. Instead of telling us, don't reuse plastic bags, maybe bring, make us bring uh, old pieces of clothing. Help us cut them. Sew them with our own hands into reusable bags. You know, with this, we might find a really talented designer. You know, this can find many people with many talents. Not because we made them write on it, write on a test paper, no. But because we made them show it to us. Show it without the pressure. They knew they can do this. They knew they can shine. They felt equal amongst their classmates. They didn't need to think, oh, this kid scored higher than me, or this kid scored lower than me. All they knew was I'm equal with everyone. I'm confident in myself. I'm passionate about this. And that is what I want for the world. And that is what I hope to bring to the education system. Can you imagine that? A world where your kids will no longer walk into a classroom wearing a heavy backpack with their nightmare in it, or heavy backpack with their books in it, but a heavy backpack full of talent, creativity, ideas, passion, ready to display their hard work. Thank you.